Hello, everybody out there in YouTube land. So we're back up at the front of the boat again. Um, the epoxy is all hard and dry for the pulpit. I'll be putting that in eventually. But first, I want to seal up all this stuff. So right here is a fitting that we have to hook up to kind of almost like a setup like a boom vang on an A-frame to raise the mast. So then you can hook it to this. And then once you get it up, you can hook up your uh, front spar and your, what do they call it? Roller furler, furling, furling, whatever. I can speak English. <laughs> to that. So the one thing though is there is a rub rail here. So I'm not sure how you get that off and then get this stem fitting off. Because there's really not a backing plate or anything for it. I would like to make a better backing plate for it. If at all possible. But I gotta figure out how this rub rail works first. So, but for right now, I'm gonna work on this. I got the holes drilled out bigger. And then I got them countersunk. The purpose of countersinking is, then there's kind of like an epoxy plug there when you're tightening things down and it has less chance of actually cracking the gel coat. So I'm gonna get some masking tape on the back of those and then I'm gonna get them filled in and I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like. I thought I'd give you guys the chance and I'd show you a little bit of how we tape it up back here. So, you just cover up the holes. Make sure that you get them real good so the epoxy doesn't come through when you fill it from the top. And you're good to go. While we're down here, you can see how the front stem fitting, it's just held on with some washers. So, they're pretty loose. I'd like to make a backing plate for it, but we'll see what we come up with here. So, I'm going to get this all done, and I'll be back. All right, so I've decided I'm going to end up making some chain plates or backing plates for the front stay stem fitting there. So I used a little piece of cardboard to kind of make a cutout. And then we'll get these made and we'll have them in there. And then I'll feel a lot better and it's a lot stronger in the long run. Uh, I'm not going to get the rub rail off in the front to get the front bolt off. So what I'm going to do after I make these chain plates and make sure they're fit, I'm going to do some masking tape on the bottom and then we'll pour in from the top some wood penetrating epoxy and hopefully that'll go down and penetrate into the core real well. And then we'll drill it out and put the old bolts back in with the backing plates. So I'm going to get this one up on the drill press here. Get it all set up and I'll be back when we start drilling. Alright, so we have it set up. Here's the first hole. Get some WD-40 to spray on here while we're drilling. All right, we're back. So I got some PV blaster. There we go. I don't think this bit is the same kind as that other one, so it doesn't drill as well. Get the other one done and I'll be back. All right, we are back. So I got my and this should work better.
I'll be back. All right, I am back. So we had a little mix up there with the drill bit, but we got through it and we ended up finding some that worked. So we have our holes drilled and our chain plates. They're not perfectly center, but that was kind of because of the problem with the drill bit. It kind of walked as I was pushing it in. So I'm going to go head up on the boat and we'll see if they fit. I don't think I have to trim any off. I made them. I used a little cardboard thing for a cutout. So this one's a little bit longer. So it'll work in the back. And this one's a little bit shorter for the front because there's not as much room. So we'll head up there and see if they fit. All right, everybody. So we have the chain plates in or the backing plates. Took me a while to get that front one. <clears throat> it's a little bit narrower. I had to grind it just perfect to get it to fit. So, but I'm pretty happy with them the way they are now. So, I am going to get these taken out now. And then I'm going to put some masking tape on the back. And then I'm going to fill in with some wood penetrating epoxy and hopefully that'll go down into the core and make that nice and strong and then we'll get everything tightened up so I hope this helped you out if you guys wanted to know how to do this or just wanted to follow along on our restoration project in the comments below let me know if you have any questions hit that like button and subscribe it helps us out if you'd like to check out our patreon it's in the description below I'll see you guys later.